As of now, we have not uh, received any serious threat. However, we should not be very complacent, no, considering that these are our leaders, top leaders of the land. Uh, we always should always be uh, on alert. No? So, uh, atin pong uh, i-ensure our safety and security po ng ating President-elect and Vice President-elect. Pinaghahandaan na ng Philippine National Police ang magkahiwalay na inauguration ni na President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. at Vice President-elect Sara Duterte Carpio sa susunod na buwan. Sa June 19, isasagawa sa Davao ang inauguration ni Inday Sara habang sa June 30 naman si BBM. Sinabi ni Danao na handa silang magpadala ng augmentation force sa mga lugar kung saan isasagawa ang inaugurasyon ng bagong halal ng mga pinuno ng bansa. Yes, for the inauguration of uh, both our President and Vice President, definitely uh, the Philippine National Police is uh, ready to respond to any eventuality. And as a matter of fact, we've been coordinated with the different focal persons uh, para lang po ma-insure natin ang safety and security ng ating President-elect and Vice President-elect. Regardless kung sa uh, area nila gusto uh, ma-inagoy, if the need arises, we will augment. Bagamat wala silang natatanggap ng mga banta sa natura mga pagtitipon, ay hindi pa rin sila magpapakakampante pagdating sa paiiraling seguridad. Nauna nang sinabi ni PNP Public Information Chief Police Brigadier General Roderick Augustus Alba na handa ang PNP na tulungan ang Presidential Security Group para sa seguridad ng inaugurasyon. Kaugnay nito, tiniyak din ni Lt. General Danao na nakahanda ang PNP sa pagharap sa mga raliista sakaling maulit ang nangyari sa diwasang Jokno noong proklamasyon ng dalawa. We always say that the PNP is an apolitical organization But when the people have already spoken and have given a landslide victory to the incoming president and vice president, we need to say our peace and do our job. Yes, we always observe maximum tolerance in dealing with the protesters and assure everybody that the right to air their grievances in public will always be protected. However, when people have no other intention but to undermine the government and start to break the rules and start to violate the agreements that we have made, start to trample upon the rights of others, start to transgress the law in front of our faces, we have to act and act with dispatch and firm resolve. Nangako din si Danao ng suporta sa mga programa ng papasok na administrasyon. Leia Ilagan, UNTV, News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.